2. I am playing pretty much all Crucibles and Quests. If you guys really like and subscribe on this video, that would be great. And also for more con awesome content on my channel. Also hit the notification bell and let's get it started. I am here playing Destiny 2. Uh, game is next week, my religion, proud to be gay, the original way, the original game we're live, and I've been, uh, very good, I got a great game, uh, two great games I haven't, uh, I gotta jinx it, but we all know what happened, uh, for a big victory, and turns out that we, uh, I'm pretty much be doing a lot of crucible quests, I wanna do a lot more unlockables, and unlock more shit, and also get, like, crucible level high, so this is gonna be kind of a, a great stream. I'm not gonna talk as much, guys, because I have a little bit of head high. So when I'm like this, I have to like, you know remain quiet. But um, if I do, just enjoy most of the video. And <clears throat> excuse me, let's get this shit started. Now, the reason why I don't have my camera on is because I don't feel like having it on right now today, guys. Okay, this is one day. Sorry, this is, I, this is one day because um, I don't feel well. I look like shit and crap. Even though I don't give a shit what people think, I just don't really feel like going on camera today. You know. So, it should be on uh, camera today, guys. Sorry to say, but that's just the way it's gonna be. You know, I said that because um, a lot of my friends have re-downloaded Destiny 2, except for my friend Striker, and I, I, you know, he would love this game. If we walk him through him and give him the basics, he would actually, you know, be hooked on this game because the game is very fun dude you know guys it, it's like uh being in your own little world you know you can create your own character you can meet up with people you can socialize with people you can fight people it's pretty fucking cool well here goes nothing guys i was in the middle let's get this shit started Sounds good. We was we're all rushing in, bro. We're all rushing like a beast. That was a nice throw. Now this gun I have, like, I, I love this gun. It might be a lot like uh, Egypt and shit. Cause it looks just like it, you know. I think it betrays it a little bit, but um. Anyways, it turns out that I have to uh, kill people. It's like pretty much like team, like team deathmatch, and so far it looks like we're doing very well. Thank God. Double kill, baby. This gun is so powerful, guys. I may be a barrette, but guys, I'm telling you, it's fucking powerful as shit. Look at that shit, I got him again. Fuck, I nearly got a final blow on his ass. I mean, I, I got a... I went out, I didn't, I went out with, a, with a bang, but if you know what I'm talking about, I went out with style, but... Damn, guys. <laughs> like, when you don't get that... When you're whacking the fuck out of him, right? You don't get that final whack kill, it's a, it's a giant letdown, you know? Whoa. Oh, fuck, that was my own teammate. Sometimes I get confused, guys. A lot of people do when they play Destiny because they don't know what teammates watch, even though, you know, they have the name tags. Because they just get a little bit confusing at times, so. I'm not going to blame myself for that because that happens to me almost all the time. Go invisible. Got you, little fucker. You're in the lead. Yes, we are. Now that's what I call a final fucking blue. Wrecking Crow. I, when it says Wrecking Crow, means we're pretty much dominating them. That's what it pretty much means. Oh crap. They're gonna spawn flip, but how much wanna make a bet? If I see, if I see gunfire, yep. Wait, what did I tell you? He 
if they can't revive their teammates, that would be a lot of use of help, but it would also be really annoying because the enemy team would be doing the same thing, and it would be really a highly aggravating after a while, so I understand why it would be like uh, your, your daddy had to wait for the next round like in Call of Duty. Makes sense, though. Because Destiny was really difficult as it is, guys, because you have to remember, you have to shoot their shield and also their health at the same time. It's highly fucking difficult. Fuck, I missed terribly. Got him. We are pretty much dominating these guys. It feels very good. Double kill, baby. Two for one, Two for one exactly. Fucking hell, dude. They got me really good that time. Wouldn't be surprised if they go for the purple because they always go for the purple. It's a pain in the ass, but that's what they do. Somebody got purple. Yeah, I knew it. Dude, we are so good at kicking their ass. It feels good. I'm always constantly looking at the radar ab above when the left hand core of the screen because what the red shows like that, that's where they're that's where the enemies are, where they're shooting at. Oh that motherfucker got me, but I'm pretty sure he's gonna die soon. What's up, Anderson? Hello. And Hello, what's up, no, much. I'm playing Destiny. Want to play? Oh, that's okay, bro. I've been up to. Wait, what? I barely play games like that. Why are they so good, though? It's like you'd be in your own little world. Oh, well... No, it's okay, man. Well, this game is pretty much like you just like create your own little character and you can socialize in this little world with other people and battle online and, you know, play mini-games. It's like pretty much like being in your own little world, per se. Yeah, it's really cool. Like, right now, we're dominating these guys. I'm trying to get my quest done because, unfortunately, I never get them done and I'm really excited for it. Really? Yeah. That's cool, bro. Well, luckily I don't have to go to school because I'm a, I'm a growing adult, as an adult, so hell yeah. Well, not really. I kind of miss going back to school because as a kid, I was kind of a nerd. I like to learn a lot. I just got blown up because of a dumb because my dumb ass jumped in the middle of gunfire like an idiot. But this game is very difficult, man, to play online because it, it, people don't forget, or people seem to forget, it's made by the people who created Halo. And when you play this game, you have to shoot their shields down, which takes a whole magazine of a clip, and then you have to shoot down their health at the same time, which takes even two magazines. So, in other words, you have to get headshots every time you shoot somebody. It's really difficult. And the worst problem is, is that, say, if you're rank uh, negative one, because they have, like, negative ones on you, technically, it turns out that if you're bursting online, it's not fair to the gamer because you're the first people who are level 50. 
and they're level 50, you can't kill them even if you try because they're a higher level than you. So that's the only thing that I hate about Destiny, that it's kind of bullshit, you know? Yeah, but it, I actually like it though because it teaches me to learn my mistakes, you know? That's why I always put that old thing about gamers. So, the original gamer live, I'm actually live streaming right now. I live stream at least once a day. But you know the old thing about the gamer bro, it's an old saying about it, an old school word. That would, or an old school saying, that would say pretty much the only way to learn from your mistakes is to learn your first failure well. In other words, the more you the more you die is a good thing because you learn and you learn and you get better and you get better and you get better. So, yep. Whoa. That's the only good thing about, about Destiny 2 is that you know it's hard, you know, you learn. I mean, I, I, I wish I had thumbed it, but I got a lot of kills last round. I, mean, I just, I, I was like destroying them with my team. Like right now, we just won for 96 and they're at. I'm going to flu, man. I'm like a fucking ballerina. I'm like, I believe I can fly. I'm flying through the fucking air and shit. Well, we won, so much we'll just sit down and relax. Like, literally. Yep. I looked like three. I'm gonna see if I unlocked any new pursuits, so if I got any challenges done. I love seeing this, and I have. I got one done. I have to get uh, final blows. I gotta get three more, and I get that crucible. And then I have to go to, um, wait, what's this? Void kill. Oh, okay. Well, then I have to just get, like, these done right here, which are easy as shit. And then I have to get the crucibles done for Vanguard. But I don't know if I need these done, the Iron Banner, because I think I need the, um... The, uh, what should we call that shit? It's the, uh, for Forsaken de uh, DLC for it, and I don't think I have that. We're breaking up those teams to find a better match. Okay. So Anderson, uh, Fortnite really got better, man. They got, they put the, uh, Save the World edition of Battle Royale now. I know! And it's a lot better, man. It's a lot more easier and um, understandable because, like, when you're if you need guns and you just drop it in the middle of nowhere, you can actually get, just kill zombies. They, they they, give you guns. Yeah, they give you better guns than the crates do, which is hilarious. Yeah. I would play with you, man, but I promised my uh, fans to be like a big stream, so I had to keep my promise. You want some fucked up though? I searched up your name on YouTube, and they showed up nothing. What do you? you well, because I'm appearing off phone. I put the original game live. Well, did you, t did you type or type in this original gamer live? Um, type in the original gamer live. Oh, gamer. Yeah, and then type in uh, um, all dope, and you know, you'll find me live. I'm trying to see your face. Oh, I don't have my camera on. But I can turn it on real quick if you want to see. Oh. Because I have a camera built into my PS4. You want to see it? Because a lot of people are wondering like what I look like, it's understandable. There you go, it's, it's turned on, bro. I look like crap, but it's turned on. Oh, no problem, man. I look a lot different than people think, man. Trust me. I'm like, I'm white as fucking Casper's dick. <laughs> That's because I don't go out much, guys. If I went out much in Vegas, I would get a suntan by now. Like, my tan will still be tan, but I'm too lazy for that shit, even just to walk outside. Oh, I found Yep, I'm a beanie on right now. Black beanie glasses, smoking a vapor in my gaming chair. Yeah, that's what I look like pretty much. I look uh, very different than people think. Yeah. It's loading. Well, what, well, basically, what I'm, what this is is that like if you go to the map here, the destinations, you go to multiple planets. What, what these planets are, except for this, this is pretty much like a shopping planet. But if you go here, pretty much the planets, you can do like missions, like uh, I'll say like Nazi zombies in Call of Duty. As a crucible, which I'm in right now, is pretty much like hardcore core on online. As a vanguard, it's more like a, a, a Nazi zombies. And then 
this is the, the DLC of Forsaken, which I so want to get so fucking bad that I, I'm like cringing just to get it. And um, I'm going to be versing online with real players. But the problem is, you see, my rank is 0 0.63. I never really play on the Crucible. I'm no fucking good at it. So I'm going to try to get my level up more and unlock shit. Like, this is my character here. If I can get him. There he is. He's a hunter. I made him all orange. It sounds fun. It is a lot of fun, man. Like, you can customize anything. Like, for example, let me see here for a second. Uh, yeah, I'll get rid of this. Now, what this is, is that you can get your own little sword, for example, like right here. You can have so samurai swords and cut people up into pieces. You can customize your color on it. Like this, for example. Mm -hmm. See? And then you can go, you can actually get your own little planes and customize your planes. Like, I got this one right here. I unlocked this, like a steampunk Mad Max uh, uh, hover uh, craft. For like a race car, and I made it green. But then I have this right here that I unlocked, just an exotic ship, and then um, it has like veins on it, and you can customize the way you go into battle like this. Or you can customize your effects to your to your hovercraft like this. If it ever loads. Well, it's not loading now because I'm loading in right into the game, but you can also make your own, own little emotes. You can put like dancing or saying hi, hello, how are you, or do like uh, sad for bones, like that. You can put different emblems that represent who you are. Like mine right now is, um, I'm my fight forever emblem. I mean, I fight forever. The loading screen is cool yeah. too because you go to hyperdrive like Star Wars. That's the coolest, coolest loading screen ever, for, and I will always say that. What does that mean? Games has the ability to Because it's my religion. Everyone has- because, uh, religion is basically what you believe in. And, uh, what you believe is real. And I believe that gaming, sex, and weed is a real religion. Like, uh, how believe people believe in God. Because, for example, gaming, for a, a, a good example here, we create worlds and it feels more real than life. In other words, we create worlds like God. We create life like God. For example, we have uh, in games we actually had the power to take life because they use them for drones now in the military, or for surgical uses in the operation room in real life hospitals. As weed is a religion because it makes you see things that I, uh, what well, makes you feel more. It, pretty much to me, weed is a god plan because it's like the god of plants. It makes you feel happy. There's something wrong with it. There is not one cause of death ever in the history of humanity from weed. I swear to God. And sex, because I am the one of the seven deadly angels named Lust, after because seven deadly sins of the Bible and also the anime. I was named Lust because I'm my biggest sin is lust. I'm very I'm I'm a sex addict, guys. I've been a sex addict since I was like nine years old. Yo, I'm out. Yeah. Fuck. I appreciate that, man. We don't have to do that, bro. I mean, I'm not the type of person that wants, like, free subscribers. I have to work for that, man, you know? Makes me learn. Oh, shit. <gasps> oh, my God. Oh, my God. But if you want to, it's up to you, man, because I would say it's your life, it's your rules, but... Oh, really? Oh, it comes to the wall. I didn't know. I've never been on this map before. This is a new one. So, as you guys see here, I have to shoot their, their shields and their health at the same time, so... Luckily, I have a great gun because the, luckily the guns you get are all ranged from different levels. Like uh, the higher the level for power, like for example, if I go here to my weapons, I got all these weapons I locked, and you see here it says 263. For example, this one says 261. This one says 260. The higher the level you get, the more powerful it is in combat. And of course, you can put like mods to actually upgrade your weapon. Like you can have a a level ranked weapon and make it to a level 1000 if you have the right mods for it. But you have to unlock those. You can also do it for your armor as well. I try, man. I have I have experience. I've been doing YouTube since I was 18. I'm 26 today. So I like, like a lot of experience with YouTube. A lot of happy experiences because a lot of haters online through years, but you know what I'm saying? But other than that, it's been cool. It's a learning experience, really, because it makes you... Uh, I actually did the YouTube believe it or not to impress my mom, my dad, and my brother, but then I got really hooked on it, and then I said, fuck it, I'm gonna make it into a... I'm gonna do YouTube for a career and become a film director. And I did. 
That's why I'm directing short films. I'm gonna get getting really into it. So I'm gonna be directing like real uh, and future time guys. Um, I'm gonna be living on my own soon. So what I do, I'm gonna be directing real life action films of video games, but making them into my my own version, like a crossover. Like for example, like Halo versus with Call of Duty crossover, or like uh, Marvel versus DC crossover, or like uh, walk like um, a um, for a Gears of War mixed with Resident Evil, something crazy, you know, something cool like that. Fuck, he got me, con no. Now, if anyone doesn't, now if you want to know, man, in real life, I do smoke marijuana. This is my pipe right here. And I smoke it on my live stream. See so the heads up. Now, right now, I I'm, I don't have I have weed in me. I recently smoked in my ashes because I'm out of weed. Because funny story with this, I went to uh, there's a neighbor who lives right above me, across from me, right, and um, sorry, man, I had someone spamming the hell out of me. My friend Dad, he's an immature little kid. Anyways, um, it turns out that he, um, this guy wanted to smoke weed because I felt bad. He was disabled, he had no weed, and he couldn't get it medically because of the fact that he was working, but yet he was disabled. So, I felt bad, like, hey man, you want to smoke with me? I said, quote, you want to smoke, not give, smoke with me. Okay. So I get this, he was a black guy, nice guy too, we're, we're good friends, so like, we're, we're like nice neighbors, we don't really bother each other, we're always, you know, at our, to ourselves. So I give him some of my weed, he, get, he smokes it with me. I'm like, wow, this is a nice, this is a nice pipe because he gave me like this uh, diamond pipe. It's really cool for a smoking weed, like flower, right? So he gives it to me and slams the door in my face. He stole my weed on me. So I, sm I bang on the door. I'm like, hey, <laughs> yeah, I got pissed. I'm like, hey, you, you stole my weed, man. Give it back. He's like, it's not my weed. I'm like, dude, I, I, I don't want to sound like a dick, but you're overly fucking retarded. There's over 25 witnesses outside who just saw you, you, and give me my weed. It'd be different if there weren't witnesses, man. So he's like, well, can I have half? I'm like, dude, my mom has cancer. Yeah, you're fucking mind. You know how mean that sounds? My mom has cancer, and you're taking her weed to give, like, like her pretty much for pain medication. Because I need it, too, for my MPD and my PTSD. Oh, I'm sorry. So he took my half of my weed and slammed the door in my face. So he stole my weed on me. And I tried to be nice to him. Damn. Lesson learned. Don't give, ever give that guy weed again, ever. Because he really pissed me off. I was trying to be nice. And let him have a nice smoke of weed, you know, make his day a little happier. And the motherfucker stole my weed on me. I'll never, ever forgive that guy. I hold grudges very easily, guys. And when I hold a grudge, it can get very evil. Grudge. And I have a grudge on that guy now. A bad one. Because that was really fucked up how I just stole my weed like that. I just wanted to give him a smoke. To be nice and considerate. And he took advantage of me like that. And even Jared, my friend Jared said, which is true. Oh, he, me he did, though. You're being in other words, he made me his bitch, bro. No, no, he made me his bitch in a way, which I am a bitch boy, but that's for sexual reasons, not for other day real life, you know what I'm saying? Because, because in the gay community, I'm, I'm what they call a bitch boy because I, I'm a bottom, which means I take it up the ass and I suck the dick. As a top, would do, be more dominant. That's why I like to be dominated. So basically, in the gay community, I'm called a bitch boy, which I agree with, I am. And I don't take that to a personal effect because that's what I am. But um, when people take advantage of me in real life, that's a different problem because I have a bad temper and a short fuse. So that's why another reason why I smoke marijuana because my family are sick of having door holes in the door. And if you don't believe me, I'll show you right now. I have a hole. I put a hole in my door recently because I got angry. I believe you. You know what? I, you know what? For the hell of it, I'm just gonna show you guys real quick. Fuck it. I'm gonna go hide real quick. I'm gonna show you guys live on camera. Saying no way, I'm bullshitting. Because most people lie on the internet, I have no reason to lie, like most smucks on the internet. So, if you guys see it before you, I don't know if you guys can see it, hold up a second. There it is. Right here. There's the hole I put in the door. So, there's my dogs barking, and the reason why I did that was because my dad pretty much called me a bully, and that really makes me angry because my best friend took his life from bullying. So, that, I flipped out on him. Now, I didn't punch my dad because he's disabled. That's like an unfair fight. You know, I only fight fair, so I just punched a hole through the door, which could have been in his head, but I did through the door. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and great, a crazy update, guys. Um, this November 1st is going to be insane. I'm doing an insane fucking ass vlog that will blow you away, and it's going to prove to you guys how crazy I really am. I got a call from one of my therapists that they want to resign because they're tra they're translating. Uh, tra blah, blah, translating. Wow, they're uh, transferring to a different building, so I had to get a different therapist. So I'm going to a different therapist this November 1st, 
and I'm going to do something that no one ever does in therapy, and quote, I have never done before. I'm going to be filming on my real therapy sessions every week, every every time I go. I'm going to be filming for therapy. So not only are you guys going to see me in real therapy getting therapy, but you're going to understand a lot about me, things that I keep secret that I'm going to be releasing in real therapy sessions on camera. So I'm very excited to show you guys that. I, I, I know for a fact that I'm going to be like, oh, but confidentiality. I'm like, but I'm a YouTuber. Nothing is confidential with my life, man. Once you're a YouTuber, the whole world knows who you are. There is no going back of that shit. Aww. So in other words, is that I'm gonna be showing you guys real therapy sessions about a real therapist talking to me. If he says I can't, I, I don't want you filming, you're like, well, this I'm gonna I'm gonna lie to him and be like, well, this is a a thing to help me cope better. Which YouTube is a help way to help me cope better, but I'm just saying that so I can film, you know. Yeah. Cause I'll say, look at the bright sides for educational okay. purposes. I know a lot of people who do it on YouTube all the fucking time, and they're grown adults pretty much, and they do it all the time too. Kids, adults, teenagers. If they can do it, I can too. So. Mm -hmm. Now people have filmed therapy sessions, but not like a person who really like not like how you guys know me. That's why it's different, you know. All I know is that you guys are going to hear a lot of dark secrets of mine. You guys are going to be afraid of me when you hear it, because I'm going to be releasing a lot of shit. A lot of shit. So, well, what do you think about that, man? <laughs> well, I try to think what YouTubers don't really think of, you know? I try to think, like, the most newest things that... Because when you think about it, if you did something that no one has ever done and they're first to do it, you know how legendary that must feel forever? Yeah. Exactly, that's why I like to do different things. For example, some motherfucker dared me a, a couple years back, which I'm still gonna do it. As soon as I'm out on my own, I'm doing it day one. It's day one I'm doing it. I'm gonna film in light with a real camera, me completely naked and walking through the entire strip of Vegas, just walking completely naked. I don't know why, but I, I dare to do it. I'm still gonna keep it. Cause if I did, if I didn't keep my promise, I wouldn't brought it up, guys. <laughs> I'm a man of my word. If someone dares me and I accept the dare, I'm gonna do it. I'm not gonna be a pussy and like back down. Which we all know this video will go viral. Who the fuck would walk through the street completely naked and put it on YouTube? Seriously. Now you're not gonna see any of my, you know what? You only can see my ass, but you're not gonna see my dick or anything. I'm gonna block that shit out. You know, like how they're doing the police shit. But besides that, it's gonna happen. <laughs> Another thing is someone also dared me a couple of years back to go up to McDonald's and say, Hello, can I order a McDicklet and an extra side of milk and fries? And I'll do that completely naked. I'm like, okay, I'll do that. Ain't that bad, you know? I mean, I did a lot worse in my life, man, for that shit, you know? That's why I'm, not, that's why I'm more shameless when doing it, because I have no shame with doing it, because I did it before like that. Burn in hell, bitch. We lost? No, so close, huh? One day. Do a vlog? I do. I already do vlogs. <laughs> yeah, I just don't. I haven't done them in a while because there's something that really goes on in my life, man. You know, it's kind of boring. But um, if you if you want me to keep doing vlogs, every yeah, it's called um, it's actually um, I believe it's under the under the description down below. It's called Shameless Family Slash Life, and I put a link there. If it's if it's not there, I'll put it on there. But well, my vlogs um, I have to admit I don't get paid for them on YouTube at all, guys, because I put real shit on there. I hate when if, before I say anything, I hate when people put fake shit on the internet because I don't know how they do it. Like big sugar nuggets, I think it's kind of impossible to fake out your life that severe. So my friend said, just show your everyday life, show the real shit. Don't block nothing out. Don't beep out cursing. Don't block out scenes. Just put everything as it is. So I did. Don't die. Well, that's why that's what my friend says. I'm like, all right. So I just I don't curse. I don't block out cursing. I don't block out nudity. I don't block out blood and gore. Everything you see is how everything you see, and I that's I actually enjoy it because one for me it's less editing, so it's less work for me, and it's more epic for you. So either way, it works out for the boat for everybody, you know. I know. But as you guys will know, my life is, you think it's crazy now. Wait till next year. Holy crap! The whole world is gonna. I'll give you guys an example. If you guys think that Logan Paul is bad, oh my god, he's gonna be wrecked off the web when I'm coming through. <laughs> because the difference between me and Logan Paul is that he's an asshole, but I'm in, I'm clinically insane. I was diagnosed clinically insane when I was a 15 year old. So and if, imagine this, Logan Paul is Marvel, I'm DC, who's gonna win? Joker versus fucking Iron Man, come on. I'm like pretty much like the Joker as it is. 
So for example, when I'm out on my own. No lie, I never heard a KSI in my life, man. I never even heard of Logan Paul until I found out he roasted, uh, Angry Grandpa roasted his ass. Which for us in PCGT. Hmm? I have no idea who that is, man. I swear in your life, I have no idea. So. Um, KSI is a big YouTuber. Mm -hmm. That he um he has like thousands I mean millions of subscribers. Yeah. And um he like was talking shit that he's a monster. Yeah. He um looks like um like a ring like box like coffee. Mhm. Yeah. And he he was talking shit about coffee. I didn't see your name on the on the list. On yeah, sorry, parties. Jared. I, I, my friend was talking. I felt bad if I just left him, you know. Oh, it's all good, bro. Hey, I got a victory last night. Oh, you did? Good shit. Solo or duos? Solo. Oh, solo. solo? Wow. I never got a victory on solo. I was so, I'm always so close. I'm like in third place or second, and then I die. But I'm. I, I'm I so close. You still win. Well, I, I would join you guys, but unfortunately, I promised my fans, Jared, that I would be on Destiny for a while, man, you know? So. Um, I like Tactical I Cook Shark Candy. I use Heavy. I use the heavy. <laughs> oh, yo, uh, Anderson, what's some funny as hell, man? Watch this, Bray, watch my character. I got this one. I got the trombone. Oh no, you're fine, man. Um, By the way, Jared, yeah, um, uh, wait, Jared, I need to ask you for a favor, man, because I'm, I'm getting highly aggravated with uh, Dab, bro. You know, Dab Daddy. Is he, he's your friend, right? Like, I, I think I met him through you, right? Yeah, yeah, I don't talk to him anymore. Oh, okay. I blocked him like seven different systems, including my phone. Oh, so you, you don't you don't like him then, right? Not that, Not I, don't that I don't like him. him. He just does not have that way to react to it first. Well, that's what I'm saying, because he's spamming. Yeah, I, I, he, he, I can show you proof, man. He spammed me, spam me 35 invites to a party, and I'm mad at him because he was forcing me to say things I don't want to say in an inappropriate way, if you know what I'm saying. Plus, plus I was live streaming at the time. Oh, I know, blocking all Yeah, screw everything. it, man. I, 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 I'm getting annoyed with this guy. I, I don't want any more like stress on my level. No matter how nice you may be, just block it. I'm so sorry for the interruption of my livestream, guys. It's just I have a friend I need to block. Or not a friend at all, it's an asshole I need to block. <laughs> yeah. No, man, because, dude, if someone showed, like, dude, he, he showed, I told him, like, I, I swear to God, it's four times, and Barrett was there to, to, count, uh, to uh, confirm it, and Dylan, because I told this guy, like, 12 times to stop asking me these inappropriate questions because it was none of his, like, he was asking me about my sex life. I mean, that's kind of highly inappropriate when I went on live stream. If it was different, if it was not, you know what I'm saying? I'm sorry, I got him a little high right now. But it's just that, like, he, uh, I told him constantly to stop. I just woke up. And I, told, I called him fake because I said only a real friend would say, would stop the first time. I had to ask you literally 12 times to stop, and you didn't stop, clearly showing that you don't care about me. You only care about what you want. So, I, I, by the way, I, I just blocked him, by the way. But there you uh, pretty, um, early, so, it's, you know. It's well, I thought it was at like 7 and I'm like, good. Damn. Gotcha. Oh, damn. Oh, I remember my, when I, dude, I don't understand, like, when they have these stupid time differences for school. Well, school is important, but, like, my best advice, uh, Anderson, don't listen to me, bro, because I'm a bad influence, honestly, in turn, no sense. Honestly, all of us are bad influences. In our own way, we are. 
but not really. I mean, like, you're more of a better influence than I am, man, because knowing me, I would tell him not to go to school, which in reality, he should go to school, you know what I'm saying? Uh, that would probably be bad advice. Uh, exactly, that's why I'm saying I'm a bad influence, but to, to Anderson, honestly, man, I would go to school. Well, believe it or school... not, most people won't realize it, but you can stay pretty happy while at school. Well, th well, the thing about school that I only disagree with is the bullying. I, I think that should end instantly. I mean, like, bullying you can't get rid of, but at least in school they should monitor it very carefully and very sternly and strictly, you know? So am I, bro. I'm a special needs. No worries. <laughs> he wasn't speaking it like that. So oh, well... I'm not afraid to say it now, you know? Yeah. Oh, trust me, kid. You're t you're preaching to the choir on that one. Well, I haven't heard. Th this is why I love my friend Jerry, man. He speaks like the way I love when people spoke when I was a kid, man. People don't speak the way we don't anymore, you know. He's speaking all these stupid words like saying bed, bed, bed that has no meaning to the word at all, and then salty, and then fucking oh, what's that other word they say? Um, they say oh, why are you too salty or uh, fucking going brain dead. What's that word they say all the time? Oh yeah, your hairline. I'm like. No, no, like, uh, no, like, I understand about roasting, but the, when people constantly use it, kind of like, it is. Honestly, I don't like the way people run high beast here right now. You have no actual chance of getting. Now, like, my little sister makes jokes, right? Like, my little sister, she's a. Zach, you've seen my little sister at least once in a few pictures. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she looks a nice girl. Yeah, my little sister, she's the most sarcastic little bitch you could ever think of, and she's awesome as shit for it. Like, it sounds like my, uh, like, like my, my niece Shayla, bro. I don't know if you've ever seen her before, but uh, she's a sarcastic yeah, little bitch at times. Oh, okay. But my family, right, because my little sister, she hardly talks. Mm -hmm. But she makes fun of Generation Z so much, even though she's part of it. Mm -hmm. And it's purely because she hates how people run culture nowadays. Uh oh. My sister hates hype beasts. Hype beast? Wait, what do you mean, gang beast? No, hype beast. It's a saying. It's like these type of people that hang out and do shit like that. Ooh, a blue top, a blue combo. Whatever, do that for now. Launch pad. Ah, oh, oh, fuck, you got me. I'm playing the Crucible right now, man. We're dominating, and we're playing like that headquarters one. We have 105, and they have 72 now. We have 70, 101. Yeah, I I played a blowout match of that like two days ago, and it was kind of funny to do. Shit, 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 shit. Fuck! Oh my god! At least I, yeah, I got him. Now I got him. <laughs> But I, I explained to Anderson, bro, that this game is very difficult because you have to not only shoot their shields like in Halo, but you have to shoot down their health with a full magazine or probably two at a time sometimes. Plus, you're playing like with guys who are like ranked 50 at times, which are the highest ranks in the game. Yeah, but one thing I like about the Crucible that most people don't realize is there's no actual stat like boost to people who are level 50 and shit. It tries to balance out the stats and how everybody plays. Well, I mean, I understand that, but like the one thing that gets me is that like when I first joined here, they had this thing where you're, if you're level one, you have the versatile fifties. I'm like, that's highly unfair because I'm not at level yet, you know. Well, that's why I didn't like doing crucible until I actually started realizing it's an easy way to do it. You just got to know how to do it properly. Like, why say, for example, mm -hmm. I use gunslinger class for that exact reason. Yeah. The gunslinger class gives you a little bit of a boost and also shows you how to properly handle those characters. It's a one-hit kill on anybody even with a max shield. You immediately got your boost to help you get Fuck, you got me. I mean, we're gonna win anyways, but damn. <laughs> yeah, I might as well sit back and- oh wait, let me kill this guy real quick. Got your fucking bitch ass, I just stabbed you in your fucking eyeball. Like, What? Oh shit! Oh, he's a hunter like me, man. Respect. But, uh... Oh! Nice! I got a bright M-gram. Uh, 
Oh. I now find you and Grim per level, bro. It's starting to get weird. Because yeah, I, I, I have reached my max level until I get my until I get that last DLC. Before Crap. I get Forsaken, I have fucking five level. I have all my levels right now, so I'm just developing and finding engrams. But now every time I fill up that area, I get like two to three engrams. Well, the problem is, is that I um, how can I put this? The problem is, is that I lost my bounties because they expired, and I hate when that happens because I was about to get one of them done. I'm like, no, why must it torment me so? I need to find something to heal with. That is not something I'm trusting. So I'm gonna go to the traveler guys and upgrade my shit because I know I got a lot of unlockables and I really want to see what I got. I'm really excited. I hope it's gear. I love to upgrade my character more than my guns. I like. Uh, I'm just a stat counter. I have to know exactly how much I'm packing and how, oh. and how strong my character is. And, and speaking of that, Jared, one of my friends told me that the uh, the Iron Banner for the Halloween I can't do because I don't have Forsaken. Is that true? Nah, you can do the Iron Banner. It's just you don't have the power to do it. Oh, so I can't do it anyways. No matter what. Yeah. Well, either way, I'm still gonna get Crucibles and Quest done because I, I gotta get Unlockables, man. I hate my plane. I gotta get rid of it. I don't like it anymore. It looks like it has herpes. But uh, Jared, guess what, man? Um, I don't know if you know, but I got uh, one of my therapists got retransferred to a different location of a building. So now I'm going to a new therapist, and guess where I'm going back to? That's a bullshit. I know. Cause I, w I was really connected Sorry. to my therapist. Fortnite. Thanks, man. But the but the thing is, is that I'm going back to Seven Hills, and I told my fans I'm gonna film it because I, I know a lot of YouTubers do that. They, they film their therapy sessions. I'm gonna tell them that if anything, I'll show my journey of how far I come. And it, plus it helps, you know? Plus it's educational if anyone wants to see it, you know? So either way it works out. I wouldn't do that, they don't allow you to bring cameras in there. Well, I know like, a lot of YouTubers have done that. Like I know this one guy who was 13 and he allowed to do it. And he had the same thing I had, you know? So. I know, but nowadays they don't allow old patients in to bring cameras. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Ooh! Ooh, nice. Oh, I got a nice color. I got buffalo, buffer, overflow. Okay. Oh, by the way, man, uh, yo, Aaron, this is what my character looks like without the helmet on, bro. Well, like, I got a bit better lighting for you. Hey, can you see the lighting now? Like how he looks? The best way you can see him is like this, man. Like if I go to the camp with the uh, character, see. So the reason why I picked that haircut is because I'm I like a haircut like that's why my haircut looks similar. You know, I like long hair with dyes, but that's just me. Yeah. Well, like. Oh, oh, yes! I got a helmet. I like most of the nickel. You know, the nickel, I like the nickel. Well, uh, are you talking about for Fortnite? Yeah, Fortnite, Fortnite. Oh, that's cool, man. What did I get? What did I get? I got a weapon. I got a, a looks like a pistol, which could be very powerful, actually, guys. Um, Me, not, like I mean, I don't have a lot, but I have enough, you know, so far. Well, I feel like Fortnite is overly expensive for their fee bucks. I think they should give you more for less money, you know? Because I think it's kind of fucked if I like you doing that. Oh, I can't wear this helmet, but I want to see what it looks like, because it's not my... That looks pretty cool. Especially since they basically charge you like 14 bucks for three, for like one skin. Really? Yeah, if you think about it, that dead fire character, he's, he costs what right now? 1,500? 1, 1,700? 
and alone 1,000 V bucks is ten dollars. Damn, just like that. Add the cost for add the cost for the other 500. No, I'm a furry. I'm gonna put that down. Dude, my my guy looks pretty cool. My ghost. I don't even see my ghost yet, but he looks really cool. Yeah, we'll pick the original color. Looks better. But, uh, it, my mom got mad at me, guys, because uh, it turns out I told my mom that I'm going to confront somebody at Seven Hills who called my mom a bully, and that made me really angry. Because this guy's a fucking idiot. T tell me, t Jerry, I want your honest opinion, bro, okay? And yours is as well, right? Um, it turns out that this guy... Is a, this therapist is a fucking a fucking freak, man. He's an idiot. It turns out he tells my dad to be provoked for the OCD instead of getting ready. He wants to provoke him, which made our lives a living hell because of it. Is that guy an idiot or what? Because it's, you, you don't just provoke OCD, you get rid of it. Wow. Most, Most mental health things can't really be gotten rid of. They can only be treated. Well, I, uh, yeah. You can learn to cope with OCD, you can learn to cope with insomnia and stuff such as, or you can learn to treat them. It's all based on how you do things. Like, from experience, bro, I can tell you, I, I was part of treatment programs for schizophrenia, I was part of treatment programs for, like, having anger issues. And even now, you know I get angry very fucking easily. <laughs> Yeah, you can get one by the fucking video. <laughs> Jared's like, yeah. <laughs> no, it's just that, like, with therapists, I feel like it's a waste of my time because they don't really do anything. All they do is talk to you and shove bottles of pills down your throat. I'm just going there to roast the fuck out of them. I really am just doing that, guys. Because I have a really bad. Sorry. It's not that I don't trust therapists, I just don't see eye to eye with treatment programs. Oh, I, I'm afraid of them, honestly. I, that's one of my biggest fears as therapists or doctors, because they put my life through a living hell when they're supposed to either help me, but they did the opposite. That's seven hell. Because it's seven hell is all the patients, according to me, we, we called it seven hells because it was nothing but hell. They, they treated people like scum there, even though we're just patients trying to get better. Like, the guy really hated me. He hated me. Oh, I read, I read the reviews, reviews of prior patients, patients on your place. place. Oh, so you, you, know, you know it's real now because before you said it wasn't real, remember? Well, it's oh, it was real. Real. Seven Hills itself is the company. There's also other. Parts oh, okay. I didn't need, I didn't know that, man. I'm sorry. But I do know it's called Seven Hills Behavioral Institute, and I know it's on Coronado Road because I used to go to school there. Coronado School, yeah, which, yeah, by the way, was medical therapy offices and then home and then well, uh, residential therapy offices. Well, well, they had this one I went to for like a, I think it was like a month or a couple of weeks, but it was called um, an input an inpatient program, which I had to stay there overnight and sleep there, and my mom had to bring me belongings. Yeah, so yeah I, I couldn't wear. Well, the stay rips for a month is called a fifty-two fifty. That's the legal term for staying in a home for a month or staying in a residential mental health area for a month. Well, the, the annoying part was is that every time I go there, they said I can't have belt buckles, I have to take my shoelaces out, and they yeah, kept saying because it's for suicide thing. Suicide I nearly really got away with it once, though, oh. at that place. It's so simple. I took a brush, they get they gave me this plastic brush, I snapped it off, and I start carving it on the bed. And this fucking guy, he was a nice guy though, he really cared about the patients, I know, his name was Ricardo, he saw me, and he tackled me to the bed, and I was wrestling with him, because I wanted this, I wanted the, in my life. And he gave me this prep talk, motivational speak, that if I let, if I die, the whole world won. All those enemies know I, they got over me, and I went, my whole life was for nothing, no purpose to it. And it was really kind of inspiring, because he came from the borders, man, he came illegally. And then he became a citizen, and he said that I wanted to be, I wanted to become a gang so bad because we were living in poverty. But I kept saying to myself, if I if I become like them, I'll never come back to my old self again. And I, that's why I wanted to help people. You know? So. Oh boy. Trust me, kid, I've been through situations like that. I was in a home for three and a half years. I would know better than anybody else. 
Actually, well, I believe that. I well, I believe how Shiger believes, man. You know, because uh, Shiger said that if you don't change, we evolve. And I, I actually I agree with that. No, dude. Honestly, like, if I was back as a kid, I would judge. Like, dude. When I was a kid, I was a lot different than I am now. Of course, like everyone is different as a kid, but I was a lot different than you would never recognize me, guys. Okay, I was a mean son of a bitch kid with a snotty attitude who thinks I was highly superior to everybody else around me. That's how I was as a kid. Yeah. I mean, I was the complete opposite. did I what? Wait, did you smoke pot? <laughs> No, I used to smoke when sister? I was 13. I was my sister introduced me to it, which I was really happy because I was going through a lot of depression when my mom and dad getting divorced at the time. So. Well, vaping, I honestly don't have as much problems with as like, kids who smoke cigarettes, just because of the fact that I do smoke cigarettes. You're smart, cause and cigarettes do nothing but kill you, man. It's like smoking rat poison. Nah, but I understand that one, dude. Trust me, I, I was pretty bad smoking cigarettes. So we just smoke like two to three packs a day. Shit. Oh, we got the heroic event completed. Nice. And I had a big issue with smoking due to the fact that I was little at the time. I was 15 when I started smoking cigarettes. Small. Well. Now I have permanent case of asthma. I. I don't like getting it treated though because there's no point in it. Like, I have the issue anyway. That was a great completed event. Sorry if it, that didn't make any sense on just now waking up. Just, just, I'm just expressing that there's a lot of things you could bring up, dude, that I've probably experienced a lot worse. My anger is definitely something that's nearly gotten me killed. My, nice, I got some good shit here. The situations I deal with when I smoked as a kid, those fucked me up as well. This is a lot of shit you can't get rid of that's just gonna be there. Well, all I know is is that, like, um, with smoking for me, I only smoked because I thought it was cool. Because a lot in high school, and like basic high school or Coronado, a lot of people would smoke and it would make them popular. So I thought, hey, I, I might do it because it I have no friends. It, it did, yeah, because I got addicting. And then the smoking got to you and you got addicted to it. That's how it was for me in the beginning, too. Because mm -hmm. the world's changed a whole lot, kid. I could tell you what people do to kids, what people did to kids like me when I was little compared to what... They do oh yeah, now I know what you're thinking, Jared. Significantly different. Me yes. and Zach, we, were both, we could both tell you about the bullying situations that we've been through. No, I'm a big dude. I'm 6'3", I'm fucking 270 pounds. I'm a huge dude. A lot of people were naturally menaced by me, or they were just hate, hateful towards me due to the fact that I was a one white kid in the black area. I grew up going to a school that was in the ghetto. I had to fight a lot. Yeah, sure, I never lived in, like, L.A. bad... I never lived in L.A. bad areas, but I've lived in San Bernardino and in Indio, California, places where it was just common to hear gunshots. It was issues that you'd wake up at night realizing that you had a bullet through your window. Shit like that. It's. I grew up in an area that makes a lot of kids from like Vermont and small town country areas or places like that naturally sad. Well Vegas is different probably where you're from man, trust me. Some shit that you wouldn't re that you wouldn't realize I've been through. I had a drug issue where I was taking ecstasy constantly. I've had yeah. If I know one, but if oh, I don't... That's marijuana, bro. I I used to do harsh as shit drugs. I used to do ecstasy. Well, 
all I can say about drugs, man, and I'm pretty sure Jared here can relate, is just be careful what you take and make sure it's always clean. You buy from a clean dealer, not a bad one, because if you do, you're fucked. No, 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 I'm saying because like, they could put like chemicals in it, like fucked up shit, like heroin or crystal meth. You never know, man. You'd be, always find the right dealer, man. That's what I learned. And but, yeah. note, I will never condone the act of using drugs to kids. Yeah. However, I realize how culture is nowadays. Well, it's because you're a younger dude. I'm guessing you're about 15, 16. Yeah. yeah. Close enough. You're still very young, dude. Like... Well, vaping is okay because the only thing that vapor has that's bad is all the nicotine. Honestly, I don't... I don't mind vaping as much as I do with big smoke actual cigarettes. Well, I do well, believe Jared that... Like, they, sorry, go ahead. Believe it or not, they actually have quite a bit of... Nicotine Crap. inside of, inside of vape. No, I have not, grape right it now. It depends on the it depends on the actual percentage of what you get. Like, say for example, like some of my buddies vape. They have like twenty percent nicotine, stuff like that. Fifty percent nicotine, depending on how you do it. Well, my mom. What kind of life do you smoke, vapor, bro, Jerry? Yeah, I remember your mom was here having a vape, yeah. Well, like, the water I smoke it on, I smoke, like, mine right now is on number, uh, 31. My mom smokes it on 50, because it depends on when you're, because like, everybody's body, Anderson, is different. So if you smoke vapor, you can smoke, like, a, a small one for, like, uh, let's say, uh, 10 THC, right? I, or, sorry, THC, but, uh, nicotine. I smoke, uh, 25 nicotine, because I like the powerful, uh, hits, you know? Well, it's funny because I remember this girl in a, in a vape store, she says that uh, vaping is her passion because it saves lives. I'm like, well, technically, that's not actually true because you have popcorn lung cancer, but at the same time, it's way better than tobacco. Well, that's a good thing because usually the prettier girls are the assholes and the uglier ones are the nicer ones. No, in fact, bro. Because you can have the nicest girl in the world, but she can be a total bitch. Trust me. That's why when you have an ugly girl or an ugly guy, they're mostly the nicest ones because they actually care about you. They don't care about appearance whatsoever. They care more about heart. Fuck, <laughs> mate. No, it's, it's okay, man. But the slang word today, I don't blame you. It's like you get immune to it after a while, and I'm not even realizing it. Uh, or you just start using them themselves. I can tell. You have a, you have a, oh, that's the word I was thinking of. Bra. A stupid fucking word. Bra. I say bra, but I say bra. I say a lot of things. Uh, no, because when people say bra, I'm like, I'm, I don't have an underlining. I don't have boobs. I, I, I think you mean bro. He's like, that's bra, what I mean. Not bra. It's not bra, it's bra. Like, no, that's what people say, though, like that. I swear to God, they say it B-R-A. Just like that, most of the time. Because they, like, they stutter on their words. And I actually piss him off on purpose. I'm like, all right, so you're a woman then, because you're saying bra. He's like, no, I'm saying bro. I'm like, then why do you say bro? It's the same thing. It's three different words, three different letters, and in the same way of saying it. So he's like, oh, yeah, but it's so salty. I'm like, what are you, fucking Hannibal Lecter? You're on, dude. All right, man. Okay, good, don't worry. But, Jared, you know me, man. I'm old school as shit, so when I hear these idiots say these stupid slings today, I get annoyed instantly, you know? Not, it doesn't make people an idiot. Like, I have a buddy, right? Yeah. Um, I'm not sure if you're still streaming with my buddy, he has. I'm streaming, yeah, still. Jamal. His name is Jamal. He's a, he's a hype beastie dude. And he uses all these slang terms. He raps a lot. He just, like, he does his own thing, right? But he's, he went to Cal Poly. Mm -hmm. He's, he's graduated his school. He has his own house now. That's cool, man. Um, he's an architect. He's he's a super smart dude. And really? He has a kid now too. He's 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 two years younger than me. He turned 18 when I turned 20. I'm just like a dick, but is that kind of young to have a kid at that age? Well, he's prepared for it. That's the difference. Like I don't. Oh, okay, that's understandable. Not prepared for it. This dude, he has a he has a steady job. He has his girlfriend who he really likes and really loves. 
he has his daughter, and he has his nice house, things like that. He lives in a much nicer area of California. He yeah. lives in uh, he lives in Redlands, California, in the nicer district near the college. Uh, yeah, he moved from Cal Poly. So to... Well, so I mean, I, I, I admire him for like thinking of, uh, for the future of uh, ahead because people don't really do that anymore. Dude. Oh yeah, he's a smart dude, but he, that's. I'd say this kid lived, even though he's younger than me, he's definitely has an older soul than me just because of the fact that he's 18 years old and handles his life like he's a 40 year old. He lives every day like it could be his last. See, I'm different, man. Well, I mean, I. I, I he's a foster youth, his life, I'm a foster youth in mine. We all have our own situation. You know, I'm not gonna lie, man. Um, I, I want to ask your opinion, bro, because I think I did the the right thing, but people said I did the wrong thing. Um, I went to, when I was a runaway. I went to this place. I don't know if you know where it is. It's by the Salvation Army Homeless Shelter by Red Rock. I don't even know what that is. All right. Well, th there's a place for. No, you're fine, man. It's, it's a place for like abused kids. They go there, and I feel like I didn't need to go there. I think there was someone else who really needed my spot more than I did, because I was just a runaway. That's all I was, and I know people need it more than I do, so I made this poor excuse up by the guy, because this is when travel was still going on, man. This is way before I knew you guys. I said, I don't want you guys dying for me, because I, I just wanted to get out of there. You know, I don't want to, I felt like I wasn't, I don't belong there. So they called the cops on me, because I thought it was a flight risk to myself or somebody else. But the sad part was, I said, I said maybe this is a new star for me. Maybe this is like a new, uh, a new hope or a new beginning to my life. So I went back out of confidence, but to call the cops on me, I felt so much betrayal. I said, I'm never trusting anybody again. Ever. So do you think I was wrong or right now? I was like, I, I went for your opinion. Well, you can always trust people. The situation is that you gotta have the right people to trust. Well, that's true. And then they probably called the cops because you made the prior statement of like, you don't know how long you'll have, so you don't want to risk Okay, that's... Yeah, I didn't think about that. I thought they just do so it to betray me. They immediately see that as a suicide or homicide one. Which makes sense. I mean, at first I thought... When like I first... I said, um, Mm -hmm. My experience with group homes and stuff is very extensive. My experience with foster homes, the homeless shelters, halfway houses. Like oh, I homeless shelters are terrible, man. I've been to one before. That's why I learned to be grateful for what I get, you know? I used to volunteer at them all the time. I actually like volunteer work. I still do. Oh, really? I just like to... I may not seem like the person, because as you know, I get angry way too easily. Same. And I've always just preferred to be there to help others, just wanting to try to help others. It's just the thing that truly makes me mad is when people just negate what I tell them as a, as a piece of advice. They ignore it or they just go against go against it or they ask for advice and don't actually ever use it. Yeah, I kind of done that to you a lot, man. That's why, you know, I changed a lot, man, you know? Yeah, a lot of people have done it to me. I learned to just live with the situation, however, I have a limit, like as you know, with Logan, I had a huge. Oh, dude, he's under—he's like a, a great example of a pain in the ass, honestly. He's I mean, not, I hate. But he, mm -hmm. he has all this potential. He lives in a nicer area. He has so much of a chance to actually like. And I don't even mean like a Vegas nicer area. I mean, this kid lived in. Dude, I know where he nice lives. He His house, he has a fucking th a five bedroom house and a three car garage. That's incredible. The kid's lucky. He has a forest around his house and private property. Yeah, However, it looks like Connecticut. The issue is, is it's always the richer people in Florida. But he lives in like such a nice area compared to what we live in. Some of the zones kids have to grow up in. I'm that too, yeah. Well, kids don't even have no homes. Most kids. For... A lot of kids don't have homes anyway. But if exactly. you look at it, there's a lot of things that people ignore. That they don't realize are sad or bad options. Well, that's why I, I mean, that I blame on our current society. I mean, look at it. You got 15 year old kids getting tattoos all over their necks and shit they don't even know they're representing. Well, that's Again, true too. It's one, my, it's one of the things that I hate the most about high beast culture. Like so that's what high beast person, is. I would, no, a high beast is like Logan Paul, Ninja, J. Oh my Paul, God. Like the people you see purposely flaunting their money. So in other People words, act just... hard as shit and act like they're better than everybody else because they have money. Like, say, the Supreme Crowbar, my sister makes jokes about that shit all the time. Well, it's just like, when people do that, I laugh in their face because I, I uh, for example, right? 
Uh, sorry about the bark, barking dogs barking now. I thought just about that, but um, the, the, well, because they, they annoy me sometimes too, teaching taco. But the thing is that uh, with money, with me, I don't believe money is everything because in the, in the long run, governments would be uh, terrified of us because if we all stop working, they wouldn't make money. So if we're more worse than they are because we're their life support technically. That's why I don't believe money is everything. Money should never be considered everything, even to even to situations like that. Yeah, but because you know, people are okay. can't control money. Technically, the people who own the bank is Rothschild and other groups associated with that. But it's just kind of funny though because like I asked my I asked dog you know my boyfriend about uh, money and he says that money is the root to all evil I'm like yeah I get that but like what's the what's the point of people caring about money if they're gonna die and never use it again he says well that's why you have that saying exactly when money corrupts the mind that's why we have mercenaries and wars and contract killers and then gangs and mafia because money corrupts the mind like you said I'm like okay my oh, crap I died. But uh, all I know is, is my boyfriend, I, I kind of became like him a little bit, Jared, because I became like his, he says he hates people, like he hates humanity, and I start, I'm starting to hate them too, you know, the human race, because... Well, you can always hate humanity, you could, there's just always something people can do to help with. No, no, because the reason why I hate even humanity though, is... Even though it may never seem effective, it's always possible to help society. Well, I don't know if you've never heard, but uh, on the news, it turns out someone planted bombs around, like, Max, uh, uh, sorry, yeah, Maxine Waters, Hillary Clinton, Obama, uh, people, all people who went, went against Trump, and they have put bombs in their cars and their homes, and I have a feeling that someone said, I had enough, I'm standing up, because no one else will, you know, like, but the problem I'm with that, sure that well. I saw I'm that on the news. Sure that even on the news, I highly doubt that Hillary Clinton and people like her put bombs in their fucking, in their cars. Well, I hope it's true because that's only going to start a civil war, which no, I think we that need. that would be an extreme act of terrorism from a political person. Well, it was, I mean, I'm not... how bad of a reputation that can give them, or how bad of, like, a situation of safety that is. What if little well, kids are near that blast? Stuff like that. If well, it were real, that would cause havoc. Well, I mean, like, people were saying, like, it, it, it's like a, a theory or, like, a, an assuming... I forgot how they put it, but, like, they were assuming that there were uh, pipe bombs theory? and shit. I'm sorry? Conspiracy theory? No, 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 it, it was on the news. They said that they were uh, assuming that someone put pipe bombs in, in these people's, like, Obama and Hillary Clinton and Maxine Waters because uh, there was a big uh, protest, they said, and supposedly, I guess, the, the protesters are now trying to assassinate rogue Republicans and Democrats because they're not going against what Trump says and that's a bad thing because the guy said it could start a civil war revolution and we don't need that right now the guy oh. said I personally believe no matter what civil war is going to happen oh I know because people can only take so much man you know, like the Persian shit you know, no but I feel like it's now inevitable with the election of Donald Trump you know I should not speak politically on your channel just because it's I don't care bad. anyway do you mind if I talk to him? Not at all, man. Freedom of speech, go right ahead. I admire that more than anything. So, what I see as the current biggest issue with what Donald Trump has and what people have to say about Donald Trump is, no matter which way you look at it, there's always going to be someone who believes the opposite. And that's a sad thing about politics. George Washington, our founding father, said, when asked why he didn't create political parties, like this is just what I read in the history book, it said he didn't want to build political parties or parties to devise these two because it would tear the country apart. Lo and behold, yeah. look what it did. Every time you've had two sides to a situation in history so far, you've had the Axis powers compared to the other members of the First World War. So you have the Nazis versus the Americans, or the Europeans, or the French, or things like that, French, obviously, but, and Polish, and then if you look at it, we also had things during the Civil War as well, you had the North, you had the North, and then you had the Confederates, you have the Democrats and the Republicans, no but matter how you look at things, conflict shows itself in different ways. During the Cold War, it was basically Russia versus America. Yeah. 
which ended badly. Is... <laughs> no, the Cold War didn't end too bad if you think about it. None of us have died. The Cold War didn't have a single casualty that we know of. True. But it did change the world, though. Maybe the Bay of Pigs. Situation on Cuba. Present. But, um, you go ahead, what are you saying? But no, when it comes down to the conflict between our culture or the conflict between inside of our cultures, no matter how you look at it, yeah. Civil war is going to happen again. Well, I mean, like, there's obviously going to be those people who are neutral zones, like how there was the Underground Railroad or things such as. You just got to deal with the situation that this shit exists. Well, it's just that, like, I understand that people get pissed and shit, but I feel like most people who go to, like, protest just want to get violent on purpose. It's just like they start a problem or a fight. I always felt like that. No, it's, it's because when you protest, you need to have a certain level of resolve that most people who protest nowadays don't have. Yeah. One, if you're a peaceful protester, or if any form of protest that goes down peacefully, uh -huh. you need to have the resolve to know that you are probably going to get shot with rubber bullets. You are True. probably going to get pepper spray. You are probably going to get taken down and slammed by police. What about rubber they bullets feel like, though? They will with anything. Rubber bullets hurt like a bitch. Have you ever been shot with a paintball? In my eye, yes, and it hurt like hell. It, it feels like uh, okay. a, a real bullet piercing the skin. paintball with frozen. That's why I got shot with a pe yeah, I got shot with a frozen paintball gun with my brother Chris in Connecticut. He shot me in my he shot, eye was, No, no, he shot me like in the corner where my nose is, on the right side of my corner, my eye with my nose. But it was pretty much close to my eye, that's why it's in my eye. Oh, like right there? Yeah, like right where, where the, you know, because you remember how, you know how they have like the little where bone in my, my nose? Where yeah. That bone is right by your eye. Your yeah. Well, anyway. But it, it hurt like a bitch, though, I know that. Now, imagine the frozen paintball was going about two to three times faster than it was when it was originally shot at. But wouldn't that kill him? Because that would pierce their skin, because when, when the frozen nope. people hit me, it pierced my skin. Rubber bro. bullets, rubber bullets don't, rubber bullets don't actually pierce skin too well. More or less, they cause welts. It hurts like a bitch. It's like a, it's like getting shot with a giant BB from a BB gun. Damn, that, or like, a, like, a, like, a, like a metal BB gun, right? Nah, not a metal BB. More like a, more like one of those thick plastic BBs. Oh. It's hard to completely express. Like, rubber bullets hurt like a bitch, but that's not the best way to describe them. They, they well, make like, you feel like you've been shot even though you haven't. Even though they don't pose any actual threat to your life unless they hit you. Unless they hit you in an area where it can cause significant damage, like they hit you in the throat, or they hit you in the eye, or they hit you... Um, like say for men in the crotch, same as women, or they hit you in areas that are very, very easy to hurt. Like, I have a buddy who was shot in the back by a rubber, by a rubber bullet. It's not fucking fun. But I saw this movie a long time ago, right? It was called, uh, rubber it was... Rubber can break bone. Let's put it this way. Rubber bullets can do damage to your body, yet never pierce skin. I have mm -hmm. You've heard of one actually piercing your head into the skin unless it was at super close range. But well, a rubber bullet, if yeah. you're shot in the leg by a rubber bullet, depending on where it's shot, it can still shatter your bone. Damn, just like that. People can get shot in the kneecap with a rubber bullet. Obviously, your kneecap might not break, but if it does, yeah. you're in pain. Well, I remember I, I saw this one the video movie. Will break your bone. Well, I, I saw this one. I saw this one movie with the young, longer, it was called The Longest Story, it was a remake with Adam Sandler, and they had this, uh, in the prison, I don't know if it really exists, or they do it in riots or whatever, but it was this, uh, thing they throw bullets everywhere, like these rubber bullets, and it's like a giant explosion of a grenade, but, cause like I said, down, and then when they, all they ducked down for yeah, their heads. Think it, okay, think of it like a shrapnel grenade. Think of it like a shrapnel grenade. So it really is real, though. It's like a grenade, except it fires rubber bullets everywhere. It's got group homes and prisons. In yeah. prisons, they still have those, sometimes. But usually they just use like heavy duty cans of fucking pepper spray. Like, uh, me and my buddies we used to have jokes and references to prior history of getting pepper sprayed and shit. Yeah. But, uh, one of the, one of my, one of my kids, one of the kids I know from the group home, mm -hmm. when he was locked up, they have these huge ass cans that you think it, that are, that look like fire hydrants. 
but they're, I mean, not fire hydrants, but fire extinguishers, but they're, but they're fucking things are the same things they use to take down bears and shit. Do they have long distance, they like, a long range? Oh, yeah, they have a decent range. You use them to fill up rooms and shit. Like, they have little grenades that they can roll into the room, like tear gas, except it's pepper spray, shit like that. And pepper spray, as soon as it touches your skin, it starts to burn. If it gets in your eyes, and your throat, and your mouth, you're throwing mm -hmm. up, you can't see, you're on the ground. That's what it's used. It's used as a crowd control item. People can die from pepper spray. Really? That's, that's actually something that can happen to people. They can choke to death off of pepper spray through inhaling it. Well, I saw the same one thing. I saw this one thing on Five Star Ninja Bro on uh, YouTube, and it turns out when the girl got pepper sprayed, they were, she was crying immensely, bro. Like, I never seen a girl cry so hard and in pain. And it turns out that, that uh. Pepper spray hurts. Well, they were pouring like, water on her eyes and shit. Eat. Water would be a terrible idea. It reactivates the heat. Use milk. Milk, like, okay. No joke. No joke. Warm milk is a lifesaver when it comes down to the pepper spray. That's coming from personal experience. Oh, okay. When I was locked up, we had little cartons of milk that, would be, that we would keep in our room for up to like three days. And if, if we got pepper spray and they sent us to a room, we'd use that to douse our eyes out. Yeah. Because it fucking hurts. That bad? And you also can't take a shower normally. It lasts, depending on how much you get on you, you can't take a shower. For what, Dad? It hurts. Wow. What, Dad? You want some buffalo chicken and potato tots? Why are you talking like that? Oh, uh, yes, please. Okay. Sorry, Joey, say man. But yeah, yeah, like, okay, let's put it this way. You've just been pepper sprayed. You're coughing super hard and your eyes are burning. Let Imagine that real quick, okay? Don't actually cough or anything like that. Okay. But imagine you've just been hit by pepper spray and everywhere on your body it feels like you're being lightly burned. Or like you have ants biting you everywhere. It hurts, like it stinks. Like, that would if you suck. have an open cut, if, it, if you have an open cut, that shit burns like fuck. Like, like getting alcohol in a wound, if you have an open cut. Yeah. It stings, and it stings like that for a few days. And it's every time you take a shower, when you step into that shower, and the water gets on your skin, it burns even more, just like it did the original day. However, it doesn't last as long. Well, Pepper that sounds spray like... is meant to last. And it hurts. That bad. Yeah, you you'll start drooling really heavily. Your nose will just start. Your nose will open up, and you'll just start like gushing snot. You'll be crying. Well, wait, wait, is a tear gas gonna get worse? T tear gas can kill you easy as shit. If you're if you're in the middle of the area where tear gas went off, you're either collapsing from pain and then like somehow managing to stay okay because you're lower to the ground and can breathe somewhat. Yeah. But tear gas can hurt though, and it hurts a lot too. It's just more of in the moment type of pain. It it doesn't last as long as pepper spray does. Well, I remember this one guy wanted to. Uh, I don't know if you know why I told you about him before, but his name is Nick Tacy. It was times up on on uh, PS4. It turns out he uh, told me he wanted to pray me one day by locking all doors and windows and throwing a tear gas grenade under my door when I was taking a shit. I'm like, well, can that kill me? He's like, no, you'll be fine. You can choke to death. If you're stuck in a small room in tear gas or, or even pepper spray. So he was lying then. That room, you can choke. You can really get damage. People suffer from like brain damage from inhaling pepper spray and tear gas. So why would he lie to me then? Because it cuts off oxygen to the brain. He probably didn't know. A lot uh. of people, there, a lot of people's most, most people's knowledge of pepper spray and tear gas is from what they see in movies or on TV. Yeah. Like there's some people who can actually sit through the pain of pepper spray in the eyes. Damn, really? Yeah, I had Crap. a. There was this kid I knew when I was locked up, right? Yeah. He had techniques for continuing his fights, even though pepper spray was going off around him and he was getting sprayed down. If he got tackled, that was it, but he would literally just pull his shirt over his head, like pull the back of his shirt up and over his head, and he yeah. would be fighting. Because at least that offers a little bit of protection to the face and his mouth, and he'd continue fighting. There were also situations where, over time, he just I basically know. became at least... At least understanding hey. of the pain of pepper spray. What's up, Jared? Well, 
that the, my, my, uh, sorry, my schedule for, for my job for next week was just posted. Yeah, oh, uh, congrats, dude. Congrats. Congrats. Only I only really work two oh. days, so at most that's going to be about a hundred dollars, a hundred and twenty maybe. Um, are you making minimum wage? I make nine dollars an hour, which is actually seventy-five cents more than minimum wage. <clears throat> okay. Um. Minimum wage in Nevada is eight twenty-five. Whoa, dude, my uh, my minimum wage is seven twenty-five. Seven twenty-five, but where do you live? Uh, Indiana. Yeah, you live in a naturally somewhat poorer state, so you don't have to worry about it as much. Well, you do. You only get paid seven twenty-five. Now, imagine this. Do you know what California's current minimum wage is? Uh, no. I believe they're making it most of California, but right now it's like eleven fifty. That's their that's their minimum wage. Yes, but let's put it this way. I pay right now. Me and my roommate, we pay about one thousand one hundred for a three bedroom apartment out there in California. And I'm telling you this from experience. Out in California, mm -hmm. a three bedroom apartment. My mom and my family has never lived in a three bedroom apartment while we were in California. Wow. Yeah, this a is two bedroom alone. A this. two bedroom alone is like. Almost five hundred dollars more of my rent. Jesus Christ, dude! <laughs> it's expensive as shit to live in California, and that's because California just naturally makes a lot more money, so people pay a lot more, people make a lot more. You just have to experience um, the fact that you're also going to spend a lot more. Yeah. But that's not even as bad compared to some areas in New York where people get paid like eighteen dollars an hour. For minimum wage. Well, New York is a highly yeah, expensive yeah. state, man. It's one of the most expensive states in the country. Yeah, yeah. the more expensive a state, the higher the minimum wage is going to be. You can't live yeah. in New York off of eight twenty-five a eight twenty-five an hour job. You'd be working endlessly just to make your rent pay. Yeah, it turns yeah. out. Yeah. Um, I know for a fact Connecticut is one of the most richest states in the country, and then there for like a pack of cigs, even generic, it's like a, not, not like a carton, but a pack, it's like 35 bucks. It's insane. Yeah, California right now charges you like $12 for a pack of cigarettes. Indiana is like six. Out here in Nevada, it's about seven bucks, if not a little bit, if not a little bit more. No, I thought everything like in your state, in, in your state's like a dollar above us. Yeah, about that much. We'd be about a dollar more than you. Yeah. Like, uh, obviously there's some things that are universal costing, like Arizona teas, everywhere you go they're a dollar. <sighs> but then you also got situations like, say, you try and buy milk out here, you're spending a good five dollars on milk. Six dollars. Yep. <clears throat> well, that's you nothing guys, in Hawaii, it's like fifteen bucks for milk in Hawaii, my friend told me that, who lives in Hawaii. Well, that's because you got to export milk to Hawaii, and that's because Hawaii doesn't have natural, like, well, a lot of natural cattle farms that produce milk. No, oh. Hawaii is actually a major tourist spot. There's a lot of money that goes in and out of Hawaii. What about, what, what's the more popular, the Bahamas? Sorry. The Bahamas or Hawaii? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Depends on how much you're making. No, like, like, what, like, for the, the statistics, what would be the best one, you think, for the people that they like more? Like, for more people visiting it? More people yeah. probably visit Hawaii than they do the Bahamas. Really? Wow, I thought the Bahamas was a lot more like the Caribbean and shit. No, but if you think about it, the Bahamas are a luxury resort area. Hawaii is a luxury resort, but when it comes down to the Bahamas or going to, like, Jamaica and places like central island areas like that, like areas that just have really nice weather, are considered mm -hmm. more tropical environments, have tropical animals and tropical fish, and exploring yeah. for stuff like that. Based mm -hmm. on how nice this area looks, you could be charged a fuck ton more. It's like, it's like okay, let's put it this way. Mm -hmm. It's like comparing st staying at the Silver Sevens compared to st staying at Caesar's Palace. You pay a fuck ton more to stay at Caesar's Palace than you do at the Silver Seven. 
Yeah, it's like when you get coached or first class on a plane, they get they treat you like a uh, world team first class because it's a lot of money. Them for coach. You pay what? About seventy five dollars a night for the summer you? seven. Mhm. Mm for Caesar's Palace, you're paying about a hundred and sixty dollars a night. What's the difference? Is that like more like like more classier? Luxury. Oh. It's because of the place. It has a higher luxury. Room service costs a shit ton more, but you're more oh, likely yeah, to those... see the things you want to see in Vegas. You're well, more likely to see the famous people. You're well, more I... likely to experience the nice magicians and stuff on the street. Although that's absolute bullshit. But <laughs> no, not really. Fremont Street has a, like a lot of uh, entertainers that they Fremont. get money in the in the hats but that's and stuff. Just Fremont is the showboat, the area. Fremont oh. is the area you'd like to go to if you're looking for cool street performances or free concerts. The only issue is Fremont at night is not safe. It's not. Free, That's to, true. Compared to a night on the strip, a night mm -hmm. on the strip is like a night on the strip is like walking through Beverly Hills. Well, it's not just that; it's a lot more like crowded as Fremont's lab. Well, I know, I know that street walking. Fremont. Sorry, go ahead. I know. I'm just expressing like the difference between like the safety level is when you walk on the strip. It's like walking through a nice area in Hollywood, or a nice uh, area, area in Beverly Hills, or like a like beautiful area, area that I usually have a lot of security. Fremont is more or less like, like walking into an AMC that's located in the ghetto side of the town. But that's the thing though, man, is that... is part of the ghetto. But, but that's the thing, Jared, is that basically in Fremont, it's a lot more deadlier because there's a lot more street gangs down there than on the Strip because on the Strip, it's a lot more crowded full of people. Even so if it's one one that shoots you, it'll be hard. Even with that, like, if you take a close look at it, people who come to visit Vegas and ask me, like, I've had people ask me where I live. Like, they ask me what casino I live in and stuff like that. Crap. I tell them if I could if I could afford to live in one of these casinos, I wouldn't be a janitor. Because there are residential rooms and areas in casinos. Like MGM has a penthouse room that is basically the house of some famous people. New York, New York, the Venetian, uh, Treasure Island. A lot of the nicer strips, a lot of the strip, a lot of the, I mean a lot of the nicer casinos that are on the strip. Most of them have residential areas, or the residential areas right next to the strip, like those big condo areas mm -hmm. those are expensive as shit to live in i couldn't even pay half the rent well green valley's worse man full time no i couldn't even pay half the rent if i was working full time oh and i was getting paid ten dollars that shit is expensive as shit that that stuff is expensive as shit to live in what about africa like is africa I expensive to live know too much i I would guess not. I always want the moon there as a kid. It also has to be, I'm guessing it always has to be with the area you live in. Well, I know this one kid who lives there. He's like uh, 17, and he says that uh, basically in Africa you could be anybody you want to be, and no one cares. You know, it's like you can, you can be happy forever here. And I like when you he said what? that. There's a musical group I'd suggest to you. Uh, they're like a couple that makes music together. They're called okay. Die Antwoord. D I E, Antwoord. A they sound familiar. O -O they're, they're really, really interesting. They were, they were the couple in the movie Chappie, the really, like, the really pale girl with the white hair and the never saw it, bro. kind of a. Uh, Sorry. Well, if you look them up, mm -hmm. they're a South African group. They come from Africa. Most people don't, ex most people don't believe that because of how pale skinned they are. But there's white people in Africa. Well, of course there is, man. You know, it's not just all like African Americans there. There's more than. There's like all like nationalities. Be the proper term. African American is for people who are of African descent that live in America. I'm sorry, man. I don't want to sound racist or anything. That's why I say African American. I know. You can just say like African people. It's fine. That's actually proper, and that's actually the area they are from and the area they live. Like, like you wouldn't call me an Irish American. I'm not. Maybe. What up, Nightfall? You want to play? <laughs> I hate <laughs> when people do that so bad. Uh, I, I I'm not gonna play Fortnite that much again, really, because that game's made me lose my sanity slowly. Ah, uh, okay. Fortnite's anyway, a good game. How can that be? On, is like my Just family's from Irish out. descent, but it has not been close enough time for me to be able to convey the Irish America. 
Oh. Like, I could also be considered of Russian descent, or Russian-American, but even then, I, my family line has been way too many generations since we came from those areas. You want to hear something funny, though? I speak about, like, different countries. My great-great-grandparents? Yeah. They were immigrants. They came in from Ireland and Russia, Germany, and Sweden, places like that. Like, well, my, 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 my grandparents came from Sicily, from, so... Sorry, not great-great-grandmother. Sorry, man. My great-great-grandfather, from what we know of our family descent, is he was a Irish-Russian. Oh, wow. Like, his family was from Ireland. They originally lived in Russia. They were... He was originally born in Ireland. His family lived in Russia. Then he, he came over here on his own. And on that boat trip, he met my grandmother. Sounds like a romance like, novel or something. I know, most, if you think about it, most of the things about him, most stories of immigrants and of immigrating to America are either really, really sad, really sad and romantic, or just sad. I mean, like how the uh, Titanic, when everyone left, the, the men to die on the boat, the thing's kind of well, fucked that's up. Well, but... that was natural, that was just natural chivalry, chivalry, that was natural law back then, women and children must survive. That's well, why makes... men were the only ones who fought in the military at the time. Well, I thought because women were the only ones who can give birth to life and stuff. No, no. If you absolutely want to think about it, women outnumber men in the world by, like, three to one. Oh, really? If not more. If not, like, four to one, five to one. Women are more abundant than men are. That's because women are more common to be given birth to. More common to have a daughter than it is to have a son. But it's funny because this guy called Bill Burr, he's a fuck. he reminds me a lot of like Stryker about how he thinks, and uh, he's, he's like a you know let's put he, it this um... way. My mom has three sisters. Okay. And no biological brothers. The only okay. biological she brothers she has are her half-brothers. And they are almost 25 years younger than my mom. They're like nine years old right now. Damn. Oh, I have an uncle that's... More than half my age. I mean, less than half my age. He's like eight. I'm twenty. When it comes down to things like that, it's just more common to have girls instead of having boys. Well, like my family, we always have boys on our side. It's like really rare to have girls on our side of the family. Well, the same with my dad's side. It's the same for me. I was my dad's firstborn son. My dad has a brother and then a sister, for what he knows. He doesn't know if he has any more siblings. Well, my dad's dead, but... No, we don't know if my dad has any more siblings besides my aunt and my uncle. Oh. And then my grandfather had two brothers on my dad's side. And he also had three sisters. Yeah. And then if, if you look at my great-grand... My great-grandmother on my mom's side... The child uh -huh. of my great great grandmother, the one who's from Sweden and Norway. Yeah. My great grandmother had six siblings. Holy shit. That's a lot of four kids. Four of which were girls, and then one that was a brother. And but then the... my great grandfather, my mom's dad. My mom's dad's dad. No, sorry. My mom's mom's dad. Yeah. He has like seven siblings, and most of them are girls. He has two brothers, and the rest are girls. Damn. And he has four siblings. God damn it. So I'm playing this game really hard, but I want to ask you something, man, because I was thinking about it for some reason. And I'm sorry that goes off the subject, but uh, from your honest opinion for you, Nightfall, even though this is like a really weird question, but. Do you guys think that porn is a good thing or a bad thing? The, the, I have no opinion. I mean, yes, yeah, sure. it's, it's everybody really watches missing. porn. Everybody, everybody watches porn. No matter how much you try and deny it, there's always some type of sexual attraction, unless people are asexual or just don't find sex sexual attraction. Like me, I'm demisexual. I'm technically demi bisexual. What does what does demisexual mean? I don't associate with sexual things. Either. I don't have the relationship with people that I want to have because of them sexually. 
I'm a little bit different. I find uh, that sex is the only way to talk a lot about let me somebody. Put it this way. Let me put it this way. I don't have sexual attraction to people because I don't have any bond. Makes sense. It's just like when you meet a new person, you know nothing about them, so you don't really have too much interest in them. Well, I wouldn't say that. Like, when I meet someone new, I'm just more shy to talk to them. Like, I'm more afraid to talk to them than, than me. Like, cause remember when I first met you, I was really quiet, really, like, scared. Yeah. yeah. So that's, yeah. that's what I mean, like, how I, how I am with uh, people, new people. It's just if I, if I get to know shy. someone. I'm sorry? You're shy. I'm, you're just shy. I'm shy, too. Everybody has, like, those aspects about Damn. themselves that they don't really like bringing up unless they're talking to people they're comfortable around. Exactly, and we won. Yay! Like, say for example, with me and Nevin, me and Nevin don't necessarily see eye to eye, but yeah. me and him are great friends. We're practically brothers. It's the same for me and you, the same for me and my roommates, me and Tara are practically brother and sister. Aww. Yeah. Just to put it in a way that would be more understandable is you're a highly sexualized person. You prefer to talk more about sex. You prefer to openly express it. Well, my dad's for sex, bro. I know. Me, I don't talk about that type of life. I don't enjoy talking about sex. Yeah, sure, I'll make a few jokes, but... Um, if you want me to talk about it, I'm sorry, bro. I see is sacred compared to other people. Nah, talking about it this way is, is better for me than, like, say, mentioning people in a sexual way. Well, that's, that's inappropriate. Really that's why I just talk about different, like, the things I talk about, you know? I just don't really have all that much of an interest in sex. Never really been that type of person. But for some reason, for me, I feel like I can tell a lot about a person from sex because, like, like for example, look at the guy Jeffy Boy. He was a monster, if you know what I mean. That's that. That's what I mean. Like, explains a lot about a person. That's why I feel very that's connected. That's because he to let that. his greed get to him. He let his greed and his unjust greed. lust get to him. And I'm, yes, because believe it or not, you can think of any crime or anything such as to have some type of ideal with greed. I thought greed was only for money. Reason. No, it, greed is something that, of okay, all the seven deadly sins, it can be turned into a form of greed. Oh, wow. I, I, think, I think you're Wrath on there, right? Because I, I know that I was, I I was lost. Talk a second. Yeah, you can oh. be Wrath. Well, well cause I, I'm but lost on the seven deadly sins, so... Okay, I just let's put it this way, right? Alright. Wait, hey, Jared, hold your thought, man. My mom needs me, man. I'm so sorry. Give me a second. Alright, go ahead. Nice, guys. Hmm. Nightfall. Yo. What do you consider genders? Let me ask you this question. I know it's controversial as shit, but let me ask you that. What do you What's... consider a gender? Uh. I mean, if you want to know my true opinion, I think there's there shouldn't really be something called transgender or. I think there's just a male and a female, and I think their uh, their their genitals kind of reveal that. Yeah. Now, let me express to you. Note: I'm not trying to sound like a feminist or a social justice warrior or anything such as. For example, I personally believe, I personally have the same opinion as you, but that's because what I, that's what I was raised to believe, at least in society. But yeah. one thing that I will say the SJWs and the feminists and oh, people like that. them have <laughs> correct is the fact that gender is so unlikely. Oh, I'm back. My dad wanted me to help him out with his back because he had his bullet well, in the back of believe, his neck. Well, I don't believe you have to have all these thousands of fucking names for genders. I do yeah, believe I don't like gender that. is a social I do believe gender is more or less a social idea. Well, I because, believe how Bella Sharple thinks, like, you know. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm a guy. Like, people yeah. would call me cisgender. I'm a cisgender male. Mm -hmm. However, I believe sexuality is where a lot of this shit comes in the handle. Like, say for example, me, I'm guessing you heard me say demi-bisexual. Yeah. I find both parties attractive, and I find both men and women attractive. Mm-hmm. However, I don't have that sexual desire. I can see romantic desires, but I don't see sexual. 
Well, romance can lead to sexual desires, though, man, at the same time, because it's romance and well, romance. Of course. However, I'm trying to express in the sense that, like, with me, I need. Me, I'm the type of person who believes that the romantic sides of things, and I personally find it that the romantic sides of things are better than that of the sexual side. You have the same mind as my boyfriend. If you look at society, if you look, if you look at society no. right now, right? Yeah. Let's put it this way: you look at society right now. Yeah. But dating somebody or being together with somebody just means fucking nowadays. That's what my boyfriend says. He says it is no like love is tainted. The word. Yeah, yeah, chivalry is dead, is another way to put it. There's no romance in things. There's there's no real relationship. Well, yeah, that makes no sense. there's no real way to look at the relationships for nowadays. Plus, my girls just want to fuck nowadays, you know? No, no. Well, it's not. It's not even just that. It's we've played ourselves so much as a society that we kind of just created a world that revolves around sex, drugs, and money. Makes now, anyway, so. go back to what I was go back to what I was talking to you about, Zach. Okay. Oh crap. I was I bringing up, if I remember correctly, I was bringing up the aspects of, uh, refresh me a little bit, please. Something about sex or something, like porn or whatever? No, it was a little bit after that. Um, Family history? Like, uh, immigrants? After that. Africa? After about that. your sexuality? Oh yeah, about sexuality. Sorry guys. <laughs> When it comes down to sexuality, mm -hmm. that's where a lot of people need to figure out that gender is how society identifies people. Oh, and, and in my opinion, I kind of don't like that, but if, if you I like know. that, then it's with me. Oh wait, no, now I remember what I was talking to Zach about. It was about the seven deadly sins and how all of them acquaint to greed. No mm -hmm. matter how you look at it, all of them acquaint to greed. Uh, yeah, sure. Wrath, greed, not so know, much, I wouldn't say. Wrath too. Wrath 2, it's having all the anger. Wrath is hatred. You are angry with wrath. You, you have a greed for anger. Oh, does that, that make makes sense? sense? Yeah, it does. You think of it like hoarding. I'm not sure if you know what hoarding is, where you keep everything and don't really throw anything away. Yeah, yeah it, it's, like a, it's a mental disorder, think of it like I think. Hoarding. With lust, you greed for that sexual interaction. You greed for that... Like, you greed for that drive. Well, that makes I'm sense. not a lustful person. I don't have that greed. I don't care for sex. Well, I'm, I'm obsessed with it. I think yeah, about it I'm every day. I'm an angry person. Yeah, I'm an angry person. Every little thing makes me mad, or every little, little thing makes me upset, making me angry. And that is because of the fact that me as a person, my own mental state, and my own way of seeing things, is I take everything serious. I don't. I think it's a joke all the time. When I see things as a joke, and I know something's a joke, even then, somewhat, or some little part of it, is serious. Zach, we're ready, come get me this! Alright. Like, like you, uh, you, you're serious about that topic, or that, yeah. that question. Like, I have a, I have a buddy who's prideful as shit. Pride is that self-confidence. Pride is that greed for being better. Mm -hmm. For being awesome, and for only like believing you as the best. That is what pride is. Pride what if is I have all the sins in me? You know what? You know what? Jake and Logan Paul are prideful people. Kanye West is a prideful person. Really? Donald Trump is a prideful person. They have that pride. They believe in themselves so intensely no, they become toxic. Is that narcissistic though? Yes, narcissism is a form of pride. Pride is that identifying of yourself that makes you believe you're better. And maybe wonder, because you said I was narcissistic, and I was trying. I, I was thinking maybe I really am. You are narcissistic, and I don't mean to be insulting to anybody, but you can tell a narcissistic person, "I'm narcissistic. I have that sense of pride." Even, but even with being shy, you can be narcissistic. It's one of those things that works in the hand with being shy. If you think about it, if you're narcissistic and you take everything to heart like I do, that's a big part of being narcissistic. Take that sounds like me. Narcissistic. I'm very dramatic a lot. Yeah, you say you take a lot of things as jokes. Me, I take it the other way around. My narcissism makes it seem more like it's an insult or a play at me. While yours makes it seem more like everything's a joke to you. Pretty much. Everyone has a narcissistic form of side. I mean, 
Brandon, for example. I mean, not Brandon, sorry. Dab Daddy, as, you, as his actual screen name is. Dab, he's a narcissistic person in the sense that he likes to make himself feel better by putting down others. Making him seem better. Like a house school bully. The next situation is there's envy. Envy is the greed for the things that you don't have. You want the things other people have. That is what envy is. You want the looks of something. You want the muscle stature. You want the money. You want... Envy or... is the greed of wanting things. Is it possible to have every That's seven deadly sin in you, though? All humans do. Every single creature has all the seven deadly sins. Because uh, everything you were saying sounded identical to how I, how I am, so I was like curious. Everyone has them. Everyone has them and they all work in with one another. It's just some people are more focused on one than others. Some people with heavy, heavy uh, emotional issues, like say, anger. Those people have a bigger favor in the wrath side of the seven deadly sins. No, yeah, the seven deadly sins is more of a Christianic term. However, we'll ju we're just using that because it's easy. And it sounds cool because of the anime. I love that anime. But just by curiosity, though, is it um, like, do you think that, like, what, what do you think I'm more focused on from your personal opinion here? Because I know you know me very well. I'd say you're more of a prideful person. Really? More than lust? Do you, do you care more for how people see you than you do for almost anything else? You care so much that people see you as a sexual addict that it's played a part in your pride. You are more of a prideful person than you are even of a lustful person. I don't understand. Like, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just trying to, like, understand, like, what, what, because I'm, like, um... You say, okay, let me put it this way, and I don't mean to sound any form of rude with this. No, no you're fine, Mitch. Go ahead. I know what you're saying. Sorry. You care so much for how people see you, even though you see yourself and everybody around you as a joke. You care so much for that aspect of seeing things that it makes you more prideful than it does even lustful because you you have that lustful side of you to make your prideful side feel better so what does that mean i'm crazy or something no no pride is just the aspect of seeing yourself as better than others oh my oh. buddy my buddy michael has the same situation so in other words is that i care about what people think but i just say i don't right yeah, yeah. oh that's the subtle part of that it's weird though, because I really don't care what people think, hey, but there, I, Tyler. I mean... Good we'll to see you again, bro. The next situation in this, in this act is, as you said, as we both stated, there's a seven deadly sins. So far, I only yeah. mentioned four. There's three more. Sloth, there's and gluttony. gluttony. Gluttony, sloth, and, uh, greed, and greed itself. But, that, but you're greed saying greed, is though. Greed want for one. But let's put it this way. Greed is your wanting for one. You want more because you want more. True. Well, envy is the greed for wanting things you don't have or that others have. Oh, okay. Pride is that greed for that self-confidence. Wrath oh. is that greed for anything that makes you angry, which works in with pride. So I keep it more prideful Sloth. than anything. Sloth is that greed for being able to rest, sleep, um be able to take the slow route in things, or the lazy route. Like, I'd say I'm extremely more slothful than I am anything else. Really? You? I thought you were more of, like, more yeah. of an exercise kind of guy, man. I like exercise and stuff, but I do the exercise now so later I can rest. Oh. I want, I want that resting time later, so I don't like doing the shit I have to do, and a lot of the times I'll quit out. Say, for example, with my job, I, I left early a few times in quite a few times in my job. You know, I'm not gonna lie, man. The overall history of me having the job, mm -hmm. it's my pride, it's not my pride, sorry, it's my slothful side that wants that relaxation part, that wants to not do anything. It's funny though, because you remind that me of the- lazy feeling people get, yeah. that's that, that's sloth. That's your lazy side. There's nothing wrong with that, it's harmless. Well, it's, Harmless until you realize the harms it the harm it does later. Think True. of it. You know the saying. You know the saying. Uh, groups only as strong as their weakest link, or chains only as strong as its weakest link. Yeah. That, that weakest, weakest link, link is most likely the person with most sloth. 
For example, the only reason why I actually graduated high school is because of the fact that I'm a cross youth and had access to negating and getting rid of all of my uh, all of my extracurricular credits. I didn't need to take a single extracurricular class. Damn. That's crazy, man. And so I only graduated with 125 credits. However, due to being a boss youth, that is possible. Uh, it's just like... Uh, well, it's, yeah, go ahead, sorry. But the only reason why it took that to let me graduate, the only reason why that was my last option, is because I was lazy throughout all of my school time. That's why, even though I, even though I come off as sounding like a douche to people and mentioning why school is so important, it's because I know I fucked up. Yeah, well, there's nothing wrong with that, man. I just like you're trying to like, like them, like uh, trying to understand the mistakes in the process of school, right? Or the really good things. And but, now to bring up gluttony. Yeah. Gluttony is the greed for is the greed of hunger, is your as it's described in the actual thing, is wanting all of the food. How about none of it, though? Is that part of it? Like, no, uh, like, I uh... I wouldn't consider it that way. Like, being skinny, that's more prideful, in my opinion. That's more based around your self-esteem and your self-confidence. Well, I have a... That's, that's not also, true. That's cause... also due to how society pushes you to do that. If people call you fat, you naturally want to be skinnier because it makes you feel upset. Yeah. I, I want to get fat, man. I mean, it's, I, it's my fucking metabolism that's making me, you know, do this. Yeah, I'm like crazy. You have to eat a shit ton of well, my doctor said to me, my, my doctor said there's nothing wrong with me. It's just like at my age, I, I will become like this. When I get older, I'll get fatter. But it, th what's funny is that this guy comes from China when he's that's skinnier than I am. That's because your, meta that's because your metabolism slows down as you age. No, no, I don't want to sound racist or anything, but this guy is actually from China. Like, he was born and raised there. I'm like saying, dude, you guys are born skinny. I'm not, okay? I, I, a lot of Americans become fat as fuck. So I want to become fat as fuck. Okay? I don't want to be fat. That's my prideful side. I don't like the weight that I have. I don't like being 270 something pounds. Well, unless you have me, bro, I don't really have enough fucking meat on me to lift like a 20 pound weight. It, it sucks. I hate it. The difference between me and you is we would be picked on for different reasons. I'd be picked on for being big, you'd be picked on for being small. Oh, oh, believe me, man, I'd fantasize about school. school again. You'd be very getting, hot, you'd be very hot. Oh, thank you, very hot. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Me, I got picked on in school for being the fat kid. But it's just... That was just how I was picked on. No, it's just funny because, like... With school, I fantasize about. Let me close the door, man. I'm sorry, my dad's attacking the dogs on purpose, like an idiot. Um, it turns out that uh, with school for me, I fantasize about killing people in school. I don't know that's normal. Or I hate, sorry, I hate the word normal. I don't know that's like a typical well, thing that people do, but. Oh, okay. Let me put it this way. There's actually a saying for those random thoughts you have for harming things, or those random thoughts for harming people. It's yeah. called the call of the void. Okay. And it doesn't make much sense when I express it about school shootings, but let me express it in a different way. The okay. call of the void, say you're driving down the street and you get a random feeling to just turn your wheel super hard and go off a bridge. Yeah, I get it all the time. That dark thought is the call of the void. It's like a supernatural thing? It's called thing. suicide. No, no. Suicide is actually completing the action and dying from it. Attempted suicide is attempting to kill yourself. The call of the void are those small thoughts that everyone gets that's a bad action, or a socially unacceptable action, or something that can cause harm. Oh, the, the way my fucking mind is warped, bro, you wouldn't believe the things I think about. Oh, trust me, uh, you're preaching, again, you're preaching to the choir. Oh yeah, you're being right, a Being a schizophrenic, I'm one of the people who naturally sees, hears, and, and me being one of the more extreme sides of schizophrenia. Let me put it that way. I'm one of the higher extreme sides of the system. Yeah, they had, had one last vacation because they, they had, had no option, option for, me. for me. Well, my boyfriend, speaking of that, my I'm, boyfriend. I'm one of those people. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Sorry. Can, someone can someone turn, turn that, that down? down? That's loud as shit. It's not, is it me? Do you? Give me a, Give me a second, second, I'll check. check. Alright, man, it puts me all over it. I'm sorry if it is me, though. Nah. Uh, it's just weird because my yeah, boyfriend. Yeah, it's you. Oh, it is? Okay. Uh, I'll call over my TV, man. I'm pretty sure, yeah. Oh, but my boyfriend pretty much said to me that I talk to myself. I'm like, I don't do that because only, yeah, only people who talk to themselves are fucking insane. I'm not insane. So he said that 
I know you talk to yourself. I'm like, I don't talk to myself, babe. I'm not a fucking maniac like people like that. And there's a difference between talking to yourself and living a full conversation. Everyone, Everyone talks, talks to themselves. themselves. Like, like they'll, they'll tell themselves, oh yeah, I have to remember to get milk. So, so they'll, they'll, they'll mention your first name, like, I'll have to tell myself, Jerry, I have to remember to get milk. Well, I fully have a conversation with myself. Like I'm just talking to someone. Like uh, it's my I know I'm talking, but it, I just like it because I'm, when I'm, when I can't really go outside, I'm isolated all the damn time. That's my way to cope, I guess, because it helps a lot. Like, like I've, I've had, had full blown conversations with myself. myself that I've gotten that. That. Can you can pull, pull your, your mic away from your headset? Your headset? I mean, away from your TV. I'll try, man. Oh, shit, I'm getting killed here. Or right, is that better? That, that is. is... No. no. I, did, I don't think it's me, I think it's Nightfall because we didn't have this problem no, yesterday. I already checked everybody. everybody. It's really me? Like, like can you, you turn, turn up your volume, volume on your mic? mic? No. Because I think everybody, everybody else had no experience. Yeah, I think everybody else had no experience. Alright, well... Like, here, I'll meet the other two right now. No, it's okay, man. I'll just play out this match and know where I'm winning. Which yeah, sucks. that's okay. But... Alright. But, um... Let me think, let me think, let me think. Okay. So there's levels to schizophrenia. Yeah. I can never tell you what other people see or hear.